Hi, I'm Ben Parker, a commercial and documentary photographer based in Nottingham, England, and this is my Petrocusia presentation for my final major project on MA Photography with Falmouth University. Since having a son back in May 2021, it has really made me think about my own childhood and how I would like his to be different from the one that I had. Also, in recent months, I've become the custodian of our family photo albums, which are mostly of special occasions like birthdays, Christmases and holidays. They date from around 1974 through to 1992, when I was about eight. I began scanning the negatives and each night I went on an emotional roller coaster, seeing my parents' wedding day, seeing my sister, who has learning needs as a baby and seeing myself as a little boy and my likeness to my own son. In the albums, I came across these images of a Barbara Hepworth exhibition that my dad took in the 1960s. He said that, that was me trying to be a photographer. I never knew that about my dad, that he might have similar creative aspirations to me I wondered what else I could uncover. My childhood was a relative normal one, up until I was eight, when one day my mum took me, my sister, and all our belongings and left the family home, leaving my older brother and my dad behind. However, in the albums, you do see signs of cracks beginning to appear. This, for example, was a Christmas that we spent at my granddad's house without my dad. My brother would have been 17 at the time and would have understood more what was happening to the family than me. I would like to reach out to him for a collaboration to get a better understanding of what happened back then. I want to try and tell the story of what happened through photography and to examine mine and my family's relationships and also how this can relate to the dynamic of my family today. In Gillian Lobb's work, Family Matters, I am fascinated in how she is documenting her family now and how this shows the political differences within her family and the friction this can cause. Currently, my mum and stepdad are not vaccinated against COVID-19, causing issues when seeing my son. I first saw Deanna Dightman's work in the New Yorker magazine. Her poetic work, Leaving and Waving, resonated with me and has made me think about how I can show my family's history over a longer time period, possibly using imagery from my family albums. I have also been inspired by this year's FMP case studies. In Phil Hill's work, Unreliable Narrator, I was surprised to see that he too had used his family albums as a starting point for his FMP project and created a diverse body of work from it. I was also interested in Ross Travell's work, A Chip Off the Old Block, and all the tools my dad gave me. In these projects, he has explored the relationship with his dad, ideas around masculinity and the class system. This has made me think about what themes I would like to focus on in, in my project. Within the albums, I began to notice objects from the time that I still have now, like the screwdriver and the toy garage in these images. How can I use things like this in my project? Could I take still lives of them? Another theme that is prevalent throughout these albums are inadvertent images of my mum's birthday teas. I would like to collaborate with her and talk about these teas. I would also like the possibility of recreating one and photographing it. 
In some of the images from the albums, I can recognize the places where they were taken. These are places that I still use today. I would like to go and revisit these places and photograph them in some way. There is also a running theme of preciousness within the project. To me, the time of my family together was short but happy time, and of course the photos that represent them are perishable items. There is also the fact that my dad safeguarded the albums for over 25 years. I can't ask my son's permission to use his likeness in my project, so there's a question of how I involve my son, if at all. Could I do this directly or indirectly? Lastly, I have a number of photographic theory books that I would like to read over the FMP period. This is to help me understand my practice further. For example, Bart's looking for his mother in the Winter Garden photo comes to mind.